because uh, today the Fed kicking off a two-day meeting to plot the future of interest rates. Uh, can investors expect a cut in the near future? That is the conventional wisdom. Let's see how conventional or unconventional Steve Leisman is thinking about all this. He joins us with CNBC's Fed survey this morning. Steve. Hey, good morning, Andrew. Yeah, the Fed survey for December finding that cuts are indeed in the cards. Maybe not as aggressively as the futures market has priced in, but they're decidedly in the forecast of our survey respondents. 100% say the Fed leaves rates unchanged this week. 53%, that's the first cut in June 2024. That's the first place where more than half see um, a, a rate cut. It moves up to 69% for July. And 4.53% is the year-end funds rate. November 2024 is when the Fed, on average, ends QT, but our 35 respondents are all over the place on that particular forecast. Here's how they game out those next several years. 529 ending the year. That's because some people, one at least one person sees a cut there, but ultimately unchanged by the end of the year. This year, that is. 2024, 453. So 85 basis points of cuts, not the 120 built in in the futures market. And then December 2025 goes down even more. 373. Peter Bookvar, chief investment officer at Bleakley Financial Group, writes into the survey, I still believe Powell has the memories of the 1970s in his mind and will be more stubborn in keeping monetary policy tight for longer than markets want him to be. It may seem far off, but next year could be the year when the Fed ends quantitative tightening, where it's reducing its balance sheet by $95 billion. We ask people when it will happen and by how much. This $7.7 trillion balance sheet goes down to 6 2 by the time the Fed stops and bank reserves decline by to two point six trillion from three point four trillion. So eight or nine or ten months, depends on your count it, of additional uh, quantitative tightening built in. Inflation seen coming down to two seven next year. About a third of respondents forecast the Fed will hit the two percent inflation target next year. 37 percent say it will happen in twenty twenty five, and twenty eight percent say it'll happen after twenty twenty five or never. Andrew. So that's a big part of the discussion. And we'll get, obviously, some CPI data coming up at 830. Okay. So, Steve, I know you don't, you probably don't want to say this aloud, but are you already starting to think of your questions for Jay Powell tomorrow afternoon? You know, people are going to ask him about cuts. And uh, uh, it's interesting because as we talked about yesterday, uh, Powell wouldn't even sort of entertain the question. It wasn't something he said we're thinking about something we're doing. And, and he may still be there. We'll see if he kind of gives it the back of his hand, so to speak. And he may have to do that 8, 9, 10, 12 times, depending upon what other reporters want to ask. But it's somewhere along those lines. That's really the question of how he's thinking about it. Um, if you read my story today, um, we have John Riding quoted in the story, which is uh, all about, gives you the details of the Fed survey on .com. Um, say, hey, the Fed has to come up and has to talk about this with the markets and create a kind of framework for the market to think about this. Um, you had his uh, uh, Fed Governor Waller talk about the idea that if inflation falls, the Fed has to come down with it or it's going to be right. a little but bit it, tighter. Can, can so ask that's quick, an issue. A, a sort of a jawboning question. It almost behooves him to suggest that he's not going to cut because that will continue to do some of the work for him. <clears throat> On the other side, no? Or you think that he has he, that there's like a, a no, strange no, no. That's, line here? That's an that's an issue, Andrew. But the other the, the cost of that issue is his credibility, right? How long can he talk about the idea of keeping rates high and not changing rates when indeed um, uh, uh, inflation is falling? If indeed it is and continues to fall, I, I think it is worth pointing out maybe one difference between this group. And the market pricing is this group, I think, understands well how data behave and it doesn't behave in a straight line, which is something that, by the way, is animated Powell and the Fed. Right. The idea that, hey, we could come down a little bit, go back up, come down a little bit. We think the trajectory is this way, but not necessarily in a straight line. So this group's a little more circumspect about when Powell does this. But at some point, the Fed needs to be able to talk about this and talk about this in a way that doesn't unleash essentially the horses of right. the market to start going galloping down the uh, the, the stretch uh, towards towards uh, uh, un right. untenable or unsustainable rate cuts.